Okay, so I feel God leading me to share a couple of the dreams that I've been having lately. And just pray on this and ask Jesus um, for any understanding and knowledge that he wants you to get from these dreams. I'm just going to read a couple of them uh, that I wrote down in my notes here. Let's see. Oh, okay, so I had a dream about a week ago. I don't even think it was a full week ago. Um, but basically what happened in this dream, civil war was breaking out. And there were these old vets from previous wars and from having served in the military and other branches of the government. And they were grieving. They were grieving at the state of America. And they were grieving at the leadership of America. Because in my dream, it was this knowing that America had been invaded by other nations that God had handed America over. And these vets, they were old men, they were looking up and they were weeping. And some of these vets were dying of, you know, natural causes of old age and whatever else. And when they died, their houses became like this tombstone, if you will, um, of a fallen soldier. That's what I saw in spirit. And then there was fire in the sky. So it, it was like a vet was weeping to God and in his heart saying, like, this is not the nation that I defended. This is not the nation that I laid my life down for. And they were ashamed. These vets were ashamed at what America has become. And it was this whole knowing, the whole message in the dream was that America will never be the same. That's what God was telling me. And I specifically saw these vets looking up and they were crying. And I was seeing them fall like they were dying. And because they're, you know, they're old and whatever other natural causes and just everything that's going on, like they were dying. And as they were dying, their houses became a tombstone as a fallen soldier. And so, like, it, it was known to me that they had take, they took pride in the old America before, but they had saw what all the different changes in America and just the evil and the wickedness that it's embraced and be and how America has become this um, role model, this evil role model to the entire world, like a harlot, right, in Revelation 17. And their hearts were broken when they saw this truth. Their hearts um, cried out to God, you know, and were sad. They were broken at what they stood on fell, basically. Like, um, and... Yeah, like they were saying in their hearts, this isn't what, this isn't the nation that I fought for. Like, who is this? Like, a lot of these people were crying out to God in their hearts, and God showed them the truth. You know, God showed them how the times that we're living in, how evil the times are, and they were like devastated because they had dedicated their entire lives before to this nation to watch her be destroyed right in front of their eyes. And. So that was a really powerful dream that I had, and I know it was from God. I saw these vets that were crying. I saw, it's hard to explain, but I, I saw the fire in the sky, and like it was like a sunrise, and there, there was glistening off the smoke of their land and of their houses that like, because when they died, their, their lands and their houses became kind of like a tombstone in spirit, and I saw like this mist that it was like really sad <laughs> I don't know how to explain it and then all of this fire that was behind their lands and it was it was America that was being invaded and there was civil war that's that's what was communicated to my heart was that these veterans were not in agreement with America and her injustices and the way that um she had embraced sin and all of these different laws that she was embracing. So God wanted me to share that. And that was, like I said, I had that less than a week ago. Man, I felt God um, really strong telling me to share that. So now I'm going to share a few Bible verses um, that he's given me about that dream. And you guys can take it to him, okay, and ask him for understanding, and know that 
I know the main message in this dream was that America will never be the same. Okay, and the other dream that I wanted to share with you was one that I had um, in a location of a hospital. And in this hospital was all of their rooms were full of patients who were dying, okay? And God gave me a, um, a photo slideshow that he placed in my hand and I was flipping through and seeing all of these people's lives changed because they were dying and I was just getting wisdom about how like um, their families were going to be forever changed getting the phone call of these people dying you know and I had this knowing that so many people were dying that you couldn't keep up to bury these people like hospitals were having such a hard time even keeping up with the number of deaths and locating their families you know, because all of their their resources was taken up, like all of their beds and their records, they, they couldn't keep up with the deaths that was happening. And so I did see that. Um, and there wasn't there wasn't time to make funeral funeral arrangements too, is what God had communicated to me. And it was knowing that these deaths were caused because of various reasons, you guys, but a lot because of the the judgments that are coming upon the world and that are already here I mean we've already had so many deaths in the US because of COVID-19 and around the world I mean I just see that that's part of prophetic of what's happening now already but what's yet to also come so like there's gonna be more pestilence there's gonna be more disease there's gonna be more things coming just because there's a vaccine um, doesn't mean anything like I just see that the pride of man think that oh this vaccine is going to save our life and it's just going to change everything and everything everyone's going to go back to normal in the u.s and that's just not what god's saying that's not what's going to happen i see a lot of people falling asleep i've talked about this a lot in my um podcast that i've been recording over the last few months just how people are falling asleep trying to get back to a normal way of life and people are blind they're oblivious to a lot of people to why God has sent a judgment and it's but here's the thing too though you guys he's he's also shown me that he's making his punishment known to the whole world that that this pandemic was sent by God as a punishment as a judgment to get people to repent of sin so not one person not one person is is can deny that like I know God is putting that into people's conscience but people are pretending that they aren't held accountable for the way that they've been living their lives selfishly, okay? So, like, that that's what God was, like, communicating to me about these dreams and just about the things that are coming and the things that are already here. So, yeah, I just felt him leading me to share these dreams with you. So, seek Jesus with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. Prepare your hearts. Make peace where you can make peace with loved ones, family, whoever God leads you to make peace with. Confess your sins to one another. Forgive each other. Turn away from your sins. Confess your sins to God. Turn away from your wicked lives. And turn to Jesus with all your heart because more judgment's coming, you guys. More judgment is coming.